Hey guys, so I have here my Sony WH-CH500 Bluetooth headphones and in this video I want to show you how to replace the battery of these headphones when the battery life just isn't as good as it should be. Okay, so the battery is located in the left ear cup. So that's the one that we want to open up, that's the ear cup that does not have any buttons. And so the first thing we have to do is remove the ear pad and this is really easy to do. So all we have to do is grab here the side of the ear pad, just anywhere. See this here and you lift it out and you just lift the ear pad over this plastic lip that's there and we already have it removed. Okay, so next we have here four Phillips screws. So I'm taking my screwdriver and I'm removing all of those. Then next we can remove here the cover of the ear cup and we want to do this really careful because there is a wire that connects the inside of the ear cup with the driver here of the transducer. So you want to make sure you don't accidentally rip those wires off. So for one, we see now this little small PCB that all the wires are connected to, but then behind there is this little plastic box and that's where the battery is located in. And there's two more small Phillips screws that hold this box here, or the, at least the cover in place. So I'm going ahead and remove those two screws. Now before we actually remove the cover, we have to take off here this one cable that's snapped into position on top of that uh, cover. So now we have a little bit more room here to work with. And now still being careful that I don't accidentally rip any of those wires off, I'm now lifting or more tilting this cover here to the side. And now we see here underneath, that's where the battery is glued into position. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see exactly what type of battery is installed in here. And then in order to remove the battery, I'm using here a flat blade screwdriver and I'm carefully, really carefully uh, breaking this off here and making sure that I'm not accidentally bending the battery or I'm even puncturing it because that may be really dangerous and uh, those batteries tend to go up in flames. So be really careful when you remove the battery here out of the cover. So now I can just pull this out here and we're going to have some more information on the back side. So I'm going to zoom in onto that as well. Now when you follow those two wires from the battery, then you figure out really quickly that those wires are soldered onto the PCB here. And the PCB itself is really well glued onto this plastic cover. And now I don't think it is a good idea to try to detach the PCB from the plastic cover because I'm afraid I would accidentally break the PCB and then I, the headphones wouldn't be working at all anymore. And that's why I would suggest to just cut the wire about halfway between the PCB and the battery and then you just solder on those leads of your new battery and just solder them on right there. And after we have insulated it properly, then we can already start the reassembly. And that is basically everything that we've done before in reverse. So first we put the battery back in place and squeeze the wires here into that little channel of the plastic cover. And now we're going to put the cover back on and we're going to make sure we're not going to squeeze any of those little wires. And then we have those two small Phillips screws. When you fasten those, remember that this is a plastic housing, so don't try to tighten them too much. And then we have these little plastic clips here where we can put those two uh, wires into here, these cables. And then when we put the cover back on, the housing, close it back up, then you have to take a look at the top here. That's where you see this little arrow. And so the arrow is supposed to point up. That's how you know you have it oriented the correct way. Then put the four longer screws back on. And then the last step is to reattach the ear pad. And this is also really easy, it's going to see here. There is this little lip here on the inside of the ear pad. And this lip goes straight into that groove that you have on the ear cup. So it's going to fiddle that in there and then you're working your way around. My ear pad cover is pretty new and it still fits pretty snug. So it took me a little bit to actually get this all the way around. But eventually I got there. So now this already concludes the battery replacement for these Sony headphones. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.